Marshall, just making sure everybody's in the right place. He moves away now. Green light comes on, tapes are up. Roaring into the first corner, and it's Quebec off the inside corner in his first turn from Lingwood. Oh my goodness, goes square across the corner. Here comes Purely, four abreast, nearly down the back straight. Very congested indeed, but stunning move from Lingwood. Now Lingwood coming under pressure from Quebec. Purely's in there. Oh, right. what on earth is going on? Because Freddie Lingwood's gone from first to last. Quebec ran the outside, but Purely now firing himself to the front. Fabulous speedway here in heat number three. Purely looking good here to be really smart there as they concluded the first lap made the move and it's uh, paying off massively here he's out in front gate number four not easy at this early stage he picks up a fabulous win there freddie lingwin won't really understand what happened there and they were coming at him inside outside here we go then oh, marshall he's happy now he moves away Green lights on tapes are up very sharp what a start from Dudek absolutely fabulous the uh, first turn, Lingwood going right around the outside, comes through in the second place. He's going to do it again. They've ripped that right outside line. He's utilised it brilliantly initially. He's now coming on strong. Yeah. Dudek sharp away from the tapes initially. But Freddie, go for it around the outside. Oh, it's a long way in here. He Look how much extra speed he had. I, I don't know where he found the brakes from, but he put them on at the end of the straight. Dudek blocking him every move. But here he comes again. Dudek, oh, he's, done him, he's done him so much speed. What a move. Brave to get out of there, he's staying out there as well. What a ride from Freddie Lindgren. World champion back in third, really not making much of an impact at all. Likewise, Martin Vachelik is at the back. The fast Freddie Lindgren bouncing back with a stunning ride in heat number five. How about that? Bit of extra grip out there. He saw it, he went for it, committed to it. A couple of changes to the bikes here for Quebec and Kim Nielsen. Three nights on, what a start from Neil Madsen. Absolutely, Jeff Appeal. Absolutely, look at where's Quebec's gone. He's gone very wide indeed. He's thinking, yeah, I like that outside line. Yeah, that actually was. Speed. He's going to come to the front. <laughs> Utilised it brilliantly. Now Madsen responding, trying to block that move. Will they get up the inside of him? Neil Madsen has recovered brilliantly there. Jan Quebec, again going very high and wide. Janoski up the inside. Madsen's in a bit of trouble. Oh. Just about clouds in the fence. Quebec is giving chase. Look at the extra speed you can generate, but Madsen's going quick. Now Madsen's no man land. He's not quite gone oh! yet. He's got the extra grip there, but oh! I'll tell you what, they got tight. Very tight indeed. Now Madsen back up the inside. Could it be a block pass? Oh my goodness, that is some commitment from Jan Kovic. He has ridden out of his skin here in heat number six. Stunning ride from the man from the Czech Republic. I reckon that's his best Grand Prix ride of the season. That was spectacular. Here we go then. Marshall just uh, keeping an eye on riders there. He's happy now. Looks up at the referee, walks away. Tapes up. Away we go into the first turn. Lebedevs has made a nice start. Beauty's made a good fist of it as well. Come from gate number three. It lets it go very, very wide. He's going to oh, hit the front comes. now. Here comes Lambert up the inside. Crucky. Very tight going into turn three. Frick. Oh, my goodness. That's tough from Lambert. My goodness gracious. Oh, that is tough from Frick. My, what is going on here tonight? Fantastic speedway. Beauty's out in front. Robert Lambert somehow has got himself to second place. I tell you why, these guys are trading blows for fun, aren't they? Robert Lambert doesn't know where to ride. He's now going around the curve. He's had a look to see where the attack's coming from. That's actually worked better for Lambert. But meanwhile, out front, Dan Bewley's checking out. Stunning ride from Dan Bewley. Really enjoyed that. Roaring round the outside. Wins comfortably. Elected to go from gate number three straight to the fence. Works big time. Heat oh, number 11. Start Marshall once again. Quite fastidious there. Mikey. Well, he's going to get the measuring tape out there for a moment. Here we go then. Heat number 11. Green light comes on. Freeling was just rolling a touch, but just about holds it under control. Gets there. He fires himself to the front. He gets the better of Robert Lambert. Comes Madsen. Yeah, Madsen coming. Oh, no, he's just uh, had to shut the throttle off there because the door was shut firmly as they went down the back straight by Kai Hulkenbeck. Out in front now, Freddie Lingwin. Robert Lambert pushing on in second place. But fast Freddie after that stunning ride last time. He's out in front again. Yeah, Robert Lambert as they came through turns three and four there. You can see in his body language, he was thinking, can I shut the door? Can I shut the door? Robert Lambert now should be able to hang on. He's gone very wide there. That's going to allow Madsen up the inside. This is going to get very, very close. Down the back straight. Yes, Lambert just had enough speed there to come back into second place. But fast Freddie Lingren out in front. Back-to-back -back race wins for him. 
Superstar. Awesome. Slipped up two weeks ago in Bournemouth. He's got three points, finished 14th there, but gets the better of the man in front of him, Robert Lambert. Here we go then. Heat number 12. Green light comes on, long pause this time. Smarsic's made a lovely start. Jankovic has gone pretty much straight to the dirt. And Smarsic's around the inside. Here comes Kovec oh, again. Brilliant. Kovec, that is such a stunning move. Absolutely fantastic from Jankovic, who had five points coming into this one. Marcel Smarsic now electing to go very, very wide. Can he repay the compliment to Kovec? But I'll tell you what, he's very vulnerable now to Kubera. I'll tell you what, Smarsic's not having it all his own way tonight. And I've got to say, Jankovic really is sending a message out there. He's uh, saying it may have been tough for me this year. I am learning, but look, I'm learning quick. Indeed he is. Kubera now back into second place. Marzik chopping to the inside, but Kubera wrote, uh, read that, excuse me, absolutely perfectly. Smarzik had to pull a huge locker there. And uh, for the world champion, well, he's relegated to third place, but Jan Kubek, this is a dreamland for Jan Kubek. Stunning opening lap. Committed to the outside. Look at the speed he had down the back straight on the opening lap. Well, see, he's younger than us. And uh, he. <laughs> he well, yeah, this <laughs> Here we go then. Heat number 15. Tapes are up. Away we go. Into the first turn. I'll tell you what, that's a smashing start from Hukenbeck. He gets himself to the front. We've got Max Frick coming through into second place. Now down the back straight, Martin Vashlik electing to go wide. Kovec is out the back at this early stage. But Hukenbeck, the German now, he's in front. Martin Vashlik up the inside of Max Frick. Will it work for him? He's going to have to block the move from Frick. I'll tell you what, Martin Vashlik's got there. Good move from him. Now Jan Kovec is coming up the inside of Max Frick. It's tight there. Out in front of the German. Uh, Makai Hukenbeck coming out a huge pressure from Martin Bachelet. Bachelet down the back straight for the final time here in heat number 15. Electing to go very, very wide. Recharging to the line. Oh, Hukenbeck just about hung on there. Just about. Great effort from Bachelet. But uh, didn't quite manage to get there. But there's no question that Freddie Lingwood is already ready. Look how keen he is. He's like a teenager <laughs> yeah. out there for the first time. Freddie's riding well. Really has turned on the style this evening. Two wins in his last two outings and in some style. Here we go then. Heat number 16. Green lights on. Takes her up very quickly indeed. Lingwood's going to get there. Here comes Jack Holder. What an effort from Holder. Absolutely fabulous run to the first corner. The Australian hits to the... Uh, hits the... Oh! Oh, my goodness gracious me, Lebedev's out of oh. shape there. Thought he was going to run in the back yeah. of Jack Holder. Somehow managed to miss him. That's allowed Freddie back into second place. Crikey O'Reilly, that really was very wild indeed. But Jack Holder has stolen the march on the opposition. Uh, Jack Holder, really good uh, opening first couple of corners. Just to get himself around the outside of Freddie Lingwood. But a nasty moment at the end of the straight, at the end of the first lap. Here comes Lebedev's. Got more speed than Freddie Lingwood. Lingwood elected to go wild. Jack Holder. Holder's comfortable out in front. Tell you what, Freddie Lingwin hasn't thrown the towel in here. One last blast round. Turns three and four in the last lap. Holder wins comfortably. And I tell you what, good effort from Lebedev's, considering he very nearly T-boned um, uh, Jack Holder at the end of the back straight opening lap. Heat number 17. Star Marshall moves away. Takes up now. Dudek nails it. Absolutely fantastic from him. He fires himself into the first corner. Jack Holder coming through into second plate. Keep your eyes on Quebec. And Quebec round that outside has utilised it brilliantly. He's through in the second place again, electing to go very, very wide. Here he comes into the picture once again. Dudek round the inside. Quebec up into the dirt once again. Will it prove to be the right decision? Why oh, he's coming on strong, Chris? Yeah, he's in two minds. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't want to stick at it. Dudek's covered it now he's got to go back to the inside Jack Holder now up the inside I think he's got that one covered Jankovic is going to have to go back to the fence and brave it out for a couple more laps this is not good news for Robert Lambert you know Jankovic round the outside of Jack Holder fantastic effort from him Dudek out in front Robert Lambert needs points I don't know if seven will be enough to make the semi-finals he'll have to be very patient can he get the better of Holder down the back straight on the final lap but Dudek He's out in front. He's winning races for fun, and he wins heat number 17. Kovac comes through in the second place. Great effort from him. But Robert Lambert is going to be very frustrated. Four laps to come. Who's going to go through? The first two go in the final. So third and fourth will miss out.
Big race indeed. Yeah, yeah. indeed. Yankovic needs the start of his life here, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely does. But gate number two has been working well, and Kavec has ridden well. Very well indeed. Here we go then. Semi-final number one here in Torrent tonight. Green light comes on, takes up very quickly indeed. Cabrera's made a lovely start, bit of argy-bargy going into the first corner. Here we go, we're Lingwood, round the outside, Cabrera's out of shape. Lingwood fires it up the inside. Batson now firing up the inside, gets the better of Cabrera. Cabrera's got work to do. We said it, Freddie Lingwood electing to go into the dirt, and he has got himself to the front. Yeah, Lingwood knew exactly what he needed to do. Now Ian Quebec is starting to wind it up on the outside. Has he got enough laps to do it? What a stunning move from Freddie Lingwood. You cannot doubt his commitment at any time. He's going to go through to the final tonight. Pressure on now, but again, no doubt about that. After the disappointment two weeks ago, Lingwood is back here. Lingwood and Madsen through to the final. Kubera will be devastated. Dan Bewley, when he hasn't been thrown out of a race, has looked exceptional as well. Three wins to his name already tonight. So here we go, semi-final number two. Green lights on, tapes are up. Roaring into the first corner, Dudek's got there, hugging the inside. Yes, Smarzik has elected to go very, very wide into third. Can he do it again down in turns three and four? Got to say that a Holder is there right now. Beauty is firing oh, beautiful. through. Brilliant stuff from Smarzik. He's come from another planet. Fires himself up the inside, gets the better of Dudek. Uh, Smarzlik, total respect to the guy. He's done absolutely everything right there. He still hasn't got the fastest bike. Beauty now, look at Beauty around the outside. Beauty's looking to take the win. He only needs a second place. He's almost got into trouble there. Dudek held up on the inside of Smarzlik. Damn Beauty, stunning stuff from him. This is not over. No doubt that Dudek has got some speed. Brilliant stuff from Dan Beauty. Jack Holder is at the back. Bewley and Smarslick down the back straight in one and two on the final lap of semi-final number two. What a ride from Dan Bewley. That is something very special indeed. Bartos Smarslick looks to the heavens there. He just can't believe he's got through. Everybody up on their feet. Fantastic scenes here in the Marion Rose tonight. Brilliant. What a venue it is. Here we go then. Final here in Torin, green lights on, takes her up, away we go, roaring into the first corner, Bewley locks alongside Madsen, Madsen's got there, got to say, um, uh, Smartling, ruthless in the first corner, he blocked the move from Freddie Lingwood, Lingwood is out the back, here comes Smartling round the outside, he hits the front, can you believe it, the world champion finding it somewhere, here comes Freddie Lingwood as well, Madsen now back to the front, superb speed we're here in the final. This is good for Madsen, he was really determined there. Smarzik looked like he'd made his way to the front. Here he comes, up the inside, he's going to straight line it. Can Madsen now turn the bike back? Can he get his wheels in line early enough? Smarzik's got to the dirt. Oh, I think he's done it. I think it's going to stick now. Brilliant stuff from Bartosz Smarzik. Really has found it tough tonight, but he's out in front. Purely now into third place. Freddie Ligman's going to miss out on Silver now. He's out the back. Bartosz Smarzik on Johnny. One last blast for the world champion, and he's going to win here in Torrent. What a night for him. Can you believe it? Yes. That is a mark of a champion. Somehow finding the ingredients, the strength of mind to come through and win here in Torrent. His third win in uh, 2024. Got a feel for Lingren. He did everything he possibly could. Madsen relegated to second place. But the plaudits will be all about that man. Uh, once again, he hasn't got it all right. Like Riga, he hasn't got it right. It's been a tough night for him. But when it matters, oh, he goes and does it. He does it in style. Chris. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.